Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. And I'm Sierra. Today, Megan and I are going to be doing the same video we did at the start of last year where we were heading into our second semester of PT school. Um, but this time, we're heading into our last fourth. and Well, it's like more than our fourth, but yeah, it's our fourth real summer semester. sessions. But I really count it like the fourth one. And this is our final didactic session for PT school, which if you don't know what that means, basically it just means that this is our last um, semester of having actual in-person classes with like professors and uh, tests and exams and all that stuff and then we finish off the rest of our schooling with clinicals but I'm like this is wild like I know like this is the last semester we're going to be in school ever I don't know who I am when I'm not a student so yeah it's gonna be weird it's gonna be um, something to get used to but we wanted to take you guys along with how we're prepping for the semester we're also gonna share like what classes we're taking and just we have like a couple days still until the semester starts so how we want to best prepare for that and get things set up how we like to have them set up for. Before we get into all of that stuff, we want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa. So right now, Ana Luisa has a sale going on on their website where they have up to 40% off some different pieces. So we have a link in the description you guys can click if you want to check it out. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about the specific pieces that we are wearing right now. So we actually each both got a ring this time around. Um, I've been nervous to like try rings just because I don't wear them as often just because in class and stuff, it's like not always the most convenient thing ever. Um, and I like, I'm just so not used to wearing rings, but I like how they look. I also have like a bracelet yeah. on, really trying to get used to wearing more jewelry on my hands and wrists and stuff just because um, I like how it looks. I just don't, <laughs> yeah. I'm not very good actually. I will say so. though, um, like Megan mentioned, I don't wear a ton of rings either. And I feel like it's always because I think like, oh, I'm gonna be able to feel it and like not get used to it. But, I mean, I put these rings on and I'm like, I don't really think about them that much. Like, they don't move around too much, which I feel like tends to be an issue. And maybe it's just a sizing thing, but... Specifically, the one CR is wearing, one size. it's um, got, like, more adjustable sizing capabilities. So, that was really good to try out for us who, like, we didn't fully know our ring size. And I feel like I've had issues where, like, I know you can figure out your ring size, but, like, I feel like I've had issues in the past, so I was, like, nervous. Um, but for reference, if this is what your hand looks like... <laughs> yeah. um, this is a size 6 ring, and it works well on most of my fingers, so it's take simple, that for what you will. Thingy. It's very simple, um, gold band, kind of like a clear little gem in the middle. And then um, my bracelet is also pretty simple. It's all gold. The um, end of the chain actually has like a little gold heart, which I think is cute. Um, and this one's like a more tighter fitting bracelet, and just nice and simple. And then also my necklace, I think it matches pretty well with, because this is also kind of a more simple gold chain look. So. All the pieces go very well together and um, yeah. My necklace is more of a statement necklace. It's got this like little green emerald kind of thing in the front and I think the color green looks really great with people who have brown hair, so. Honestly, hair. it would look good with blonde hair too. It would probably look good with that. Because then I'm like, well, redheads too, like the green would like Oh yeah. Pop. <laughs> little it would look good with anyone. <laughs> but I have brown hair, so I was thinking about myself. Ana Luisa also releases new jewelry collections every single Friday, so if it's the end of the week and you're kind of bored, go to the website and check them out, see if they have any new pieces that pique your interest. Also, they have a pretty wide price range, so they really have jewelry that can fit anyone's budget. They have pieces starting at $39, and then you can obviously go up from there if you want. Again, you can click the link in the description down below if you want to shop for a link, we'd appreciate that. And otherwise, thanks to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into some planning. Okay, so similar to the video we did last year, we're going to run through all the classes that we're taking this semester and our initial thoughts on And I'm like, I don't even go. fully remember what classes yeah. we're taking. I'd be surprised right now. So, um, first class is Physical Therapy Management and Administration 2. We took the first section of this course over this past summer. It basically just runs into like the business side of physical therapy. Yeah, so some of the things we talked about last summer that was like, stood out most of me as well. well. First we talked about a bunch of different settings and how the billing relates that was very to important different to sections. Um, and then this semester I guess we'll see what it yeah. has in store for us. So. I have to admit I don't love learning about business like I was not a business major and this stuff does not really excite me that much but it is important to know for the profession but as far as I'm, am I looking forward to it? Not necessarily but it'll be good. The next class that we have is pain mechanisms and treatment. I'm actually curious to see what this class is going yeah. to be like because um, we have like a really like our top professor of the field is like pain scientist. Pain um, scientist. She's also a PT, but she does a lot of research regarding pain. I think this class is going to focus a lot on the mental component of pain as well as what it means to perceive pain because especially when you're dealing with patients who have chronic pain, it's more than just trying to fix a problem. Yeah. You have to like you start to 
think of pain differently, your body reacts to pain differently. Uh, next one is radiology and imaging for PTs. I think that people have said this class is an online class. Yeah. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be too intense. We also like, our primary job is not to like read. It's just to like stuff. kind of know what we would be looking at yeah. if a patient comes in and has imaging that's been done, so. Next class is differential diagnosis in PT. So I think this class isn't, this is not so much focused on like different PT options it could be. It's like seeing red flags, what would be red flags to look for in patients to know when to send them and refer them to someone else so that you can get them where they need to be. Uh, next class is our musculoskeletal therapeutics three class. Um, so this is just the made it two third of installment of uh, like learning about just all the joints and muscles. It's and the lower extremity yeah. this time around. So. so we've done back, we've done SI. This past semester we did upper extremity. Now it's time for the lower extremity. Finishing it up. And then another class we have is progressive functional exercise. Um, and this class is going to be actually like, obviously we've done clinicals and like had experience in PT offices. So like we have up to this point gotten a lot of good knowledge for exercises that are commonly done in the clinic. But this class is more so focused on exposing us to even more exercises that are possibilities as well as learning when and how to progress those exercises. Yeah, or modify them. So, you know, it's, it'll be a good class to have just to really and hopefully round out stuff in our tools. Hopefully easy. <laughs> Next class we have is neuromuscular therapeutics. I think this is a class that we have talked about um, patients coming in and kind of like getting to like practice like our special skill on them that we like need to actually have people with certain diagnoses have in order for them to be like make sense. And I assume we also are going to learn more about like, I, there's stuff, we have a PT365 app that we both use on a daily basis. Uh, or like try Glasgow, to. Glasgow, Coma Glasgow, Scale, Coma Scale, please, no idea. Like a question comes up for that and I'm just like, I'll learn about it next semester, I'm pretty sure. There's like a couple different scales that I mentioned that I know that will probably be coming up in this class, so. The next class is our community outreach uh, and engagement class. This is the second installment of the same class we had this past semester. Basically, we just need to finish up our service hours. So yeah. this class isn't really like an in-person class, it's more just like we have to do volunteering outside in the real world. And then we also have a second part to our critical inquiry class that we had this past semester. So this is our research focused class. Um, we were put into research groups last semester. We're still in those research groups this semester. Last semester we learned about just bit, like how to better read papers and different components of those studies and then also prepped for what experiments we are now going to all be doing this upcoming semester and then eventually presenting those at the end of the semester. So those are all of the classes that we have and like going through it, I think it should be a good semester. And okay, I have to say since the first semester everyone's been like, oh this one's the hardest, like get through it and you're like, you'll be good. And I'm like, I'm in the last semester now and I feel like you guys have been lying to me because it's all been hard. They're all hard in their own ways. Yeah. There's some things that are better and there's some things where you're like, this is still like quite a bit, so. Yeah, so now that we've gone through um, the actual classes, we're going to start the fun part and putting it into our Google Calendar. All right, so I'm going to walk you guys through how I um, add my classes to my Google Calendar. I'm sure there's many ways to do this, but the way that I have found to be the most helpful is on the side of the calendar thing. I just make new calendars for each of my classes. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna worry about the colors yet. We'll get to that in a second. So now that I have the calendars actually made, I'm going to go through and add them to the correct time and date depending on my actual schedule that I was given. On Monday, 10 to 11.50, I have PT Management and Administration class. So I'm just gonna click at the 10 o'clock time. And since I already have like the calendars associated with like different colors and I know what class it is, I just usually like either write lecture or lab. So I'm just gonna put lecture until 11.50. And then I am going to change the calendar down here. So instead of like my name where it's my personal calendar, I just go through and change it to PT Management and Administration. And then um, to hopefully not have to deal with making this more than once. I always mess this up, but like, I'm gonna try. Instead of does not repeat, go to custom. Monday, Wednesday, repeat every week. And then ends on, I think 15 or 16, I'll do 15. I did 17. Oh shoot, 17 occurrences. And that should just do it for the next 17 weeks. So let me hit done, or save. All right, I think that worked. And the color, we'll change it later, but. 
that's kind of the idea. Okay, so I already have all of my classes for this semester put into my Google Calendar and I'll show you what it looks like right now because I did try to go through and create a calendar with colors that I liked and I was having a hard time doing it and I decided on just doing like a monochromatic situation with like some blues and purples and I decided I don't like how it looks so we're gonna try again so here's what mine looks like right now um it just isn't working for me i have my hair getting done next thursday so exciting so sierra and i actually found this website and it's called coolers so we thought this website was kind of cool because you can work on creating a color scheme and it generates stuff and if you like different colors then you can save those colors and then it'll keep adding more so you can say this is how many colors i want and go from there so i have really no idea what I want. So I'm gonna click through and just see if one speaks to me. I'm gonna need how many different colors because that'd be a good place to start. Lots of colors that we're trying to coordinate here. So anyways, you just click the space bar and then it'll give you a different color palette and you can see if any of them speak to you. Sometimes that happens too. We'll see what happens when I actually like pick a palette, but I will like find something I think I like and then I'll put it in my Google Calendar and like it won't, it just doesn't look how I want it to, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Okay, I kind of don't mind this palette. I don't know if I like the two colors at the end, so what I'm gonna do is hit the lock button on the bottom of the other ones. Actually, I don't know if I should have a white, so I'm gonna skip that one too. And then if I hit space again, it'll just change out those three that I did not lock. I tentatively have my palette of nine colors now, so I'm going to put these onto my Google Calendar, which I guess I'll show you guys how to do the first one. So this is the first color. So I'm gonna copy the hex code and then we'll go to my Google Calendar. So to change the color of the class, I'm going to go to the calendar that I want to change it, hit the three dots and then hit the plus and then I can just paste the hex code in. And there we have it, we've changed the first one. So I'm now going to go through and do the rest and hopefully, I need to kind of be smart and not just like paste it to random classes. I need to like consider how it's going to look on my calendar just based on the time and stuff. So we'll see if I can do that. So I did finish putting in all of those colors and I like how it looks so I'm going to leave it at that and yeah, Sierra's just working on changing her colors to find a nice little palette that she likes. Um, so, but yeah, that's a cool website to use and to try and make something that you think fits your aesthetic, whatever that is. I don't even know what mine is, I just think the colors look nice together. So, okay, so I finished finding a color palette that I think looks decent for mine. I'll insert the screenshot of what my colors look like. You know, obviously with this many colors, it's hard to find like something that goes amazingly together, but, and also like, I look at the colors, so if they have to be different, my monochromatic thing was not working. Yeah, that would have been like, a little These are too close together, and I don't even know what class is what, so, yeah. So, up next, we are going to add our new classes to our preferred note-taking app, which for both of us is Notability. We have tried um, one note. One note, because when we first started our program, we literally like have this in a vlog because it was our first week of PT school. They were highly suggesting from past students that everyone should try out one notes because it does connect between a computer and your iPad if you have both. So like that is the nice thing about it. And it's free too if you like have- I think notability might be free now. What? It cost $8 when we got it. But like I just could not get myself to like the one note stuff, so. Notability has been what I've used, and I feel like I you think can Megan and I do something. use it differently though. So Megan will show you how she sets up her classes, and then I'll show you guys how I set up my classes. So here's my Notability app. I'm a light mode person. I know that's gonna make everyone crazy, but I just do what I do, and that's what it is. So I had this in undergrad as well. So I do have stuff on the side where like I literally have a human growth folder, a biostats folder, and our anatomy lab folder because I never like those were for undergrad, and I just like had classes. I used to sort them like that. 
Um, but what I do now is I have like a finished classes folder and a PT school folder. And you'll see the number of notes on the side for PT school. I have 824 different files in my notability for anything that I've had while in PT school. So what I do is these um, arrows are the different dividers. And so I'm going to go and I like to make each class a different subject within, not that one, in PT school. What is kind of annoying about Notability is they get so mad at like you cannot have any sort of duplicate title names at all. So sometimes I have to get creative. So a third musculoskeletal class. And I'll probably change these colors to match my Google Calendar just because that's what I do. Or at least like the closest thing I can get. They don't let you pick like an exact color on Notability. And some classes that like are not hardly classes that are that important. Um, like our community outreach class, we hardly have any notes, so I might not make a folder for those ones. Alright, so I added all of the different classes to the divider for PT school. So I set up my notability slightly differently than Megan because she doesn't really separate her classes into the units, whereas I do because I like to see as few notes as possible when I'm studying. So I will make each divider into a different class, and then within each divider I'll add subjects, and then the subjects are what I make the different units of the class. So. Right now I'm adding a subject, I just kind of abbreviate it, um, some variation of the class, and then I'll put the number one after it, and so it's that class's first unit. And then I typically do that, I'll add more units as the class goes on. Okay, so that is a lot of what Sierra and I do to prep for a new semester. Mm -hmm. So it's just a lot of getting things organized and trying to make them look nice to the best of our abilities, so. Yeah. If you guys like this, also if you want more information on how we use Notability, I made a video a couple years ago, but like I used Notability the exact same as I did in that video, and so you could search our channel. It's one of the most viewed videos on this channel. Yeah, I just talked through how the app works for us, so you can go check that out if you want more specific details. But otherwise, thank you again to Ana Lisa for sponsoring today's video. Link is down below, up to 40% off their site and different pieces, so yeah. We will talk to you guys next week in our next video where we'll probably have our last first week of classes vlog. Week in our life, something like that. Ever crazy. Bye.